there is a solution that we make to correct the radiation in our system. And that is to take a quart. Now write this down because this is a formula. Write this down. One quart of distilled water. Now why do we use distilled water? Because it absorbs and pulls out all these elements that are foreign to the physical well-being of our body. You, in that, you take one teaspoon of soda, one teaspoon of sea salt, and stir it until it's thoroughly mixed. Divide that into four doses. Now, your first dose, then drink the next one every two hours until you have taken the four doses and your system will be pretty well cleaned out. Now, when you compare the baths to that and put them together, you're, you'll be surprised at the results that you get. So, again, when we get these conditions, and you live with them, you have them every day. They're all there. And I see we only have 10 minutes. I wonder if there are any questions. Yes? One pound each. Now, if you're taking a straight soda bath, make it about two to three pounds. All right, thank you. Yes? Where did I see a hand here? I can't see back there in the dark. Hmm? All righty. There is no nutrition. You're drinking water. You're correcting a condition. So nutrition is not the point. You're, well... Every four hours, yes, you shouldn't be taking anything else. You need the fluid in the system to wash it out and to neutralize what is there. Yes. Any other? Yes. Epsom salt is good use for the bath. Epsom what? salt. Epsom salts. No, no. Oh, yeah. Plain, ordinary sea salt is your best if you get sea salt. Now, other than that, don't buy your iodine salt in the market. We want real salt. And you could use your water filter salt or your ice cream salt. It takes a little while to dissolve and all, but it, it will work. You use your regular Clorox bleach, the old one, not the new. You want the plain, old-fashioned bleach. It's still on the market, thank God. I don't know what I'd do if it wasn't. Yes? What do you, do? What do you use the oil or whatnot for your skin after you have done all this stuff? Well, now, if you're taking the, those baths and they dry the skin, dry your body, then get olive oil and very lightly moisten your hands with it and rub it into your skin, and it'll take care of the whole thing. It'll stop all the itching and dryness. But now I don't know of any other oil that will do the work that olive oil will do. And it's better if you get the virgin oil, the first run of your oil. Here's the thing. You, uh, they advertise uh, cold-pressed oil. They heat it first, then they cold-press it, and that's what they tell you about. So are we getting real cold-pressed oil? But a virgin oil, olive oil, is never heated. It is cold-pressed. Any other?